Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher. In our last video we wrapped up chapter 2. We confronted Azar Javed, uh, Triss ended up saving us, and she brought us to her home in the trade quarter. And towards the end of our last video we started our exploration of the, tra of the trade quarter and ended at the uh, house of ill repute. And I am going to start off today's video by talking to the Sister of Mercy times three, and then we'll continue exploring and How go from there. there. Mummy, can we play with them? Oh, oh. My, that's a large sword. <laughs> that's awful. Talk to the Lady of the Night. Okay, well, apparently uh, she did mean that we really couldn't even talk to them <laughs> without doing an unnamed something yet. So let's exit the door that we came into i think uh yes and yes we'll just keep talking to people okay godspeed so we came we started off at triss's and we're coming down this road here so huh uh, hello nobleman uh, ruffians attacked me last night they mentioned some lizard trying to scare me. The salamander? <laughs> Velrad has decided to turn old Vizima into a hospice for diseased non-humans. Hmm. No reason to be here, white-haired one. Hey. Some army. More ruffians than ever, and the number of virgins declines sharply. Uh, okay. Ever consider enlisting? Visit your local royal Temerian guard recruiting station. PFI, poor fucking inventory. Velrad's a dickweed. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I guess this is how I can get back to the temple quarter. Huh. I'll have to go... I don't want to re-explore all of that one again, but... We'll see. I can't get in there. I don't talk to strangers. Okay, fine. We'll just pick flowers on our way. Armed as you are, I'd stay clear of the guards. Yeah, you know. We'll be fine, I'm sure. So it looks like I can come down here. There's a cemetery gate, the inn, and the herbalist. What am I to do? What's this? Oh, it's a dead end, so we definitely can come down here. Mm. We give our lives to the order. I, I know. This? Oh, the royal huntsman. Is that the guy from... The strength within us will heal the world. Eternal the outskirts? Fill my heart. Is there a door over here so I can go quickly. in? Made of dryads <sighs> All right, let's go into Eternal this door. Well, nothing of interest in there. Let's look at this poster. And What's it looks the same as before. Hello, nobleman. Velrat has decided to turn old Vizima into a hospice for disease. So I heard. The strength within us will heal the world. Well, let's save, and then let's talk to the royal huntsman. Right. Greetings, Witcher. The outskirts cramping you? I was ordered back to Vizima. King Faltest is returning soon. In the meantime, I reward those who tend to public nuisances. Public nuisances? Rewards for monsters. Got anything? Well, let's, uh, ask about where he learned about monsters. Where did you learn about monsters? A family heirloom. A book wherein all beasts are described and shown. Know what it says there? What? Each monster embodies a human iniquity. Devourers. Gluttony. Vampires. Drunkenness. What's a giant centipede embody? Uh... <laughs> you had me there for a moment, drunk hunts- uh, drunk huntsman. Uh, Royal Huntsman. So let's ask about how much this stuff's gonna pay. What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Ugh. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Locals, nothing but trouble. They probably tried to drive the wyverns off. Tell me more. Ask. I guess that's it. Farewell. Okay. Order footman, order ah. footman, order footman. The strength within us will heal the world. Okay, and then watchtower door. Well, let's go in here. Oh, 
All right, well, I have a new journal entry. Guardhouse, law and order in the trade quarter is the responsibility of the city guard, which is headquartered at the guardhouse. Burgermeister Velarod can also be found here often. He oversees all his affairs connected with crime and security in the city. Um, well, hello, order footman. You don't belong here. I, I know I don't. Let's loot your stuff, though. You don't belong here. Nope. Yeah, these weird new chain mace. It's kind of cool, but... You don't belong here. I know. You don't belong here. Take your money, though. All right, let's go down and see if the Burgermeister is here. He's not. Where does that door go to? Any strong alcohol? That's the only thing I want right now, really. That was weird. Huh. Well, let's go back. I don't want to skip around. I don't want to lose my spot, basically, in my exploration. So let's... Hmm, that's disappointing. He's not here. Cabinet, maybe? There we go. Strong alcohol, high quality potion base. Got a bunch of those now. Have to make some more potions soon. Okay, so we came here and. Okay, we did all that. Armed as you are, I'd stay clear of what the guards. Nonsense. Shooting, shutting back jewelers where every what ring is that special ring. Armor, this week's special a free pot with the purchase of any oh. buckler. Okay, so we did the watchtower area, so let's come, I guess keep going this way. Hmm. Excuse me. No reason. If they stop me one more time at the barricade. They'll do what? Use strong language? That minstrel was a Why are these barricades? Well, I think something bad's going on between the order and the Scoyatel, which makes people nervous. Vivaldi and Sons Cooperative Bank. Keeping your coins safe for the last five centuries. Apparently not so much, though. Waste into of words. Into speed and finesse, look no further. Try the Viral Viraledian Mini Bastard Sword, that featuring an extended belt. That minstrel was divine. Oh, there's the... Okay. Am I right back down by... Yeah, Triss's house was right there. Let's go pick the flower again. Quite the dangerous one. The neighborhood has lost charm back. since they let the rabble in. Guard officer. Indeed. All right, let's go in this door. Indeed. Oh, it's locked. Summer. How much longer? And how about this one? <laughs> the Scoyatel summoned a horrific phantom to massacre humans. Really? That seems pretty uh, powerful. Good deal. What brings you here? Never well, mind. let's go do this dead end and then make our, we'll just wind our way around. The sorceress Philippa Eilhart is in town. It's not the one they said was. I need a rest. Hang on, glossary, was it under mages? Philippa Eilhart. Eminence Greece of Redania. Okay. What's that? Alright, this is the door that we came out. It gets you to the guardhouse. Another sent you. Eternal fire, fill my heart. Who's getting beaten up over there? Did the guild send you? No one sent me. Forgive me. They chased me from the market when I refused to join the guild. I'm only interested in what you have to offer. Sorry for my hasty judgment. Please look. Mm, yeah, let's look real fast. Well, I did look at his stuff. He has a $5,000, $5,000, $5,000 orin jacket. Uh, I bought a rune from him because it was only 50 orin. But I, I'm not really sure what I should be spending my money on when it comes to clothing. I feel like I bought a weapon that I probably didn't need to in the last chapter, but... It's fine. It's just a game, right? <laughs> um, but what are you peddling, sir? What are you peddling? I buy and sell arms. The best in town. I've never heard a customer complain. We'll see about that. Judge for yourself. Oh, 
I wanted to ask Farewell. something else. Care to Yeah, why won't you join the guild? Why won't you join the guild? Someone's trying to take over the guild, and I hate rules that force me to give free arms to some and refuse business to others. Who's taking over the guild? Someone with powerful links. Even the richest merchants are fearful. Vast quantities of weapons are requested, which could only be for the Grand Master or the King. Okay. Thanks for the information. Good luck. You're welcome. You're welcome. Curse them all! Grumpy, grumpy. Hello? Right. Why hurry? Cortesian. Are you propos- No, sir. I await a proposition from you. Mm, no. Be back with something nice soon. Will you just go to the house of ill repute instead? At least mm. they have beds there, right? <laughs> you're huge and ugly. Wow, you're a really rude child. Oh, a notice board and then an inn. Well, let's pick up all these contracts and then we'll read them, right? So we have the arch spore contract. I should collect. Okay, we'll read all them when I finish. The gravier contract, cockatrice contract, the flutter contract, ghoul contract, kikimore, kikimore contract, and wyvern. Ugh, wyvern contract. I don't have good experience with wyverns, so let's. Pull this up. So we have selected currently the Wyvern contract. The innkeeper at the new Narakot will pay anyone who brings him three portions of Wyvern meat. Kikimore contract. Velaron will pay for the claws of ten Kikimores. The quest can only be completed if the bestiary contains an entry on the Kikimores. Okay. I have... Oh, I have all these things already. So the gravier contract, I had to get five gravier bones and apparently I already have that. The ghoul contract, I needed 12 blood of the ghouls. That's done. <laughs> Velarod is going to pay me if I supply him with fangs of three flutters. Okay, cockatrice. A scribe from the town hall needs five cockatrice feathers. They're apparently far more durable than ordinary goose quills. And then arch spore contract. The jailer Jethro posed, posted a notice stating that he'll pay anyone who brings him three flasks of arch spore juice. That just sounds disgusting. For some peace and quiet. Well, let's talk to the drunkards real fast. Don't like you. What's the Albino twins. Albino twins. Okay. Okay, let's save. And then we'll go into the inn. This is the... Oh, I can't select on it. I forget. It's not the Harry Bear Inn. It's the, it's the new, new Naracot Inn. Naracourt Inn? Naracourt. New Naracourt Inn is a large, high-class inn frequented by the most important people in Vizima. One can enjoy conversation over a goblet of good wine, play dice, or try one's strength against the best pugilists in the capital. In the evenings, the new Naracot hosts exclusive invitation only receptions. Fancy. I feel I tired of you. I don't recall the context, but I remember it was a bloody story. <laughs> Patrick DeWazy. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're new here. You really stand out. I like your accent. My patience has ended. Well, we have Andrew... Your mother sacks dwarf cock. You guys always say that. Andrew Gabloda. Tough fist fighter. All right, well, we'll come Great back. idea. And then... What can I get her? Oh, look, it's Dandelion. Let's save and talk to Dandelion. Impossible. Gerald, I'm glad you're here. I'm not in the mood for music, Dandelion. We'll talk later. Geralt, I promised to perform for all these people and I don't have my loot. Then you have a problem. <laughs> Geralt. <laughs> all right, uh, well, what's so special about this loot? Well, no, how did you get in the trade quarter? Let's ask that one first. How did you get in the trade quarter? 
Personal charm and fame open a lot of doors. I doubt city guards appreciate poetry. Geralt, you know so little. <laughs> I approached a wealthy merchant whose daughter studied loot under me. With all the right contacts, he obtained a pass for me, thus demonstrating his appreciation for art. Sadly, we're no longer friends. I could probably guess why. Uh, <laughs> so what's so special about this loot? What's so special about this loot? It's the one I got from Teruvial in the Valley of Flowers. Remember? No, I don't. Remember? Uh... In the Valley of Flowers? In the Valley of Flowers? I even wrote a ballad about that. Where the Devil Says Goodnight. I'll be singing it today. Who's Teruvia? The She-Elf from the Blue Mountains. You did quite a number on her nose when you two first met. Where is she now? I heard she joined the Scoyatel. I wonder if she's still alive. I... I don't recall. Well, can I pretend? I don't think I should pretend to remember because I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay, new update to Dandelion. Okay, um, supposedly it was my best friend. Dandelion got in trouble and I had to help him out. Everything I've heard about him has proven to be true. Well, yeah. Geralt. So what happened to your loot, sir? What happened to your loot? Hmm. Long story. Tell you over a drink? Um, sure, why not? I might have some lower class wine. Medium strength, there we go. Okay, I'll try some weak alcohol. <laughs> Terrible times. And more weak alcohol? You know, Dana Lane, I really didn't want to get drunk today. <laughs> Really? Okay. I should be triggering the conversation by now, right? Why, hello. There we go. <laughs> oh, forgot how tough you were. <laughs> Got up the courage to tell me about the loot? Yeah. <laughs> Got up the courage to tell me about the loot? I guess. My loot's at the home of a rich merchant. The house is on the west side of Salt Square. And I can't possibly leave. The crowd awaits. Okay. Why wouldn't you tell me earlier? Well, the merchant caught me giving his daughter lessons. In what? Relax, Geralt. Music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll fetch your loot. <laughs> All right. I'll fetch your loot. Wonderful. Um, hmm. Was I supposed to bring you something? Well, let's ask about the merchant. Tell me about this merchant. Uh, all right. Truth is, he's got reasons to dislike me. What did you do this time? Let's say his daughter and I got to know each other without permission. Typical. Luckily, last time I visited, I made her pretty happy. So she hid the loot for me in a trunk on the upper floor. All right. I'll do my best to find it. Okay, Dandelion's loot. So that's the story. Dandelion screwed some last and now her daddy reaches for his axe every time he sees a bard. I must be careful when I enter his house. I need to be careful when I enter the house. Apparently dad's up in arms. Thanks, oh, Dandelion. Thanks a lot. Uh, I think that must be it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be drunk Wait, apparently so for a while. There's a waitress over here. There's some cheese. Oh, I'm itching to eat some. And a barrel. Oh, wait, what's... Yeah, I don't need sugar You'll dolls. only bring trouble. Oh, damn, it's hot in it. Be with you in a minute. Any rooms? Five orange, just for you. Oh, I don't, I don't I need a room. I'll pass. Well, let's see what she has to sell. All right, she's a good source of uh, strong alcohol if I need it for any of my... Um, any of my potions. No challenges. Let's try to very slowly... Ooh, there's a security guard over here. Terrible times. Check the barrel rack. Where are you going, Geralt? The barrel rack's right here. 
Medium and medium. Okay. Let's talk to Patrick DeWazy. <laughs> oh, I forgot. A witcher? <laughs> they said your kind was extinct. Very nearly. I'm Geralt. I'd rather not reveal my true name, my knightly vows. If you wish, you may call me Patrick DeWazy. <laughs> <clears throat> Of the, uh, Flaming Rose? Indeed, I'm a member. Perhaps you could lend me some assistance. With what? My sister. Will you hear her story? One day we found her unconscious in bed. Blood trickled from fang marks on her neck. We had no doubts. A vampire. Fang marks don't necessarily mean a vampire. These clearly did. For after a time, my sister disappeared. She must have been transformed and then escaped. If she is a vampire, I'll have to. Above all, I would like you to find her. Confirm our suspicions. Um... Yeah, does he know Siegfried? Do you know one Siegfried of Danael? Indeed. What news of him? He is due to be promoted. In fact, he possibly has been already. I don't know, we never speak. Can you tell me why? He is transformed since the swamp. I said to him, Honorable Siegfried, I congratulate you. Your honor and faith vanquished the pagan rabble. He gazed upon me strangely, saying, Honorable? Perhaps. Honor and faith? Certainly not. We were victorious, for they were hungry and poorly armed. A bit of blood, and he has forgotten all about honor. He should follow his father's example. Where can I find him? His father? Dead. Purportedly torn apart by a manticore. I meant Siegfried. <laughs> he trains recruits in front of the Order's seat in the Temple Quarter. All right, Patrick DeWazy. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll look for his sister. All right. I'll look for your sister. You should have no trouble recognizing her. None can ignore her as your eyes. She is a slim, beautiful blonde. Uh, yeah, there's a blue-eyed... I was just thinking about that. There's a blue-eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. There's a blue-eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. My sister would never degrade herself so. Okay. I have no proof, but this woman matches your description. Obtain proof. My family's honor is at stake. Uh -oh. I'll do what I can. Ah, uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. I promise to find the blue-eyed girl who was bitten by a vampire should look around town. I should ask the knight if the girl from the brothel is his sister. I must prove that the girl... Okay. Dang it, too fast. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I must prove the girl from the brothel is the knight's sister. I should go back there. Patrick DeWeezy. <laughs> Does that mean he's lazy or is that supposed to be a play on Patrick Swayze? At last, some respite. I'll what complain about full her? test. But wait until Ada ascends to the throne. Is that gonna be better I or worse? Try that. If not for monsters and bandits, this city would be without equal. If not Impossible. for monsters and bandits, You're a handsome this city man, would be without but I equal. I already have a partner. All right, well, let's head over to the security guard and see what he has to say <laughs> to my drunk Geralt self. Master Louvarden requests your company at oh. six in the evening. This is his place. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. That makes more sense. All right, we're sobering up slowly but surely. None may say I can sort with witchers. All right, so we need to come down and around this way. So there's the herbalist, the Maribor gate, sewers and dandelions. The loot is over there. As <laughs> advertisements say. Jewelers. Knights should fight monsters. Which is a crude. Hey. All right, let's go inside this door. And I'm pretty much back to being sober and went in there and looted the house. Nothing very exciting. Let me just make sure I get my bearings. Okay, we're gonna hang a right. Behind this. And. Uh, Velrat has decided to turn old Vizima into a hospice for diseased non human Yes, I hear that. Well, I went into this door right here. Nothing super exciting. Just some more strong alcohol. What's, what's in... Oh, oh, I can't go in there. Let's see if these guardsmen have anything new to say. Let's... Yeah. Yes? 
Hmm, I guess not. Godspeed. Are they just the same group that keeps wandering around? They told me to watch for those with a salamander badge. Uh, yeah, probably a damn, good idea. It's hot in this thing. Okay, so the sewers and dandelions loot is over here. Well, I don't want to do any quests just yet. I want to try and do what I normally do, which is explore a bunch and then. Oh my gosh, I am talking right now, ladies. Um, oh, it's the whole wall of the... Well, I guess we'll just go this way. So I was trying to say that I want to do all my exploring first and then start doing some quests like I normally do. <laughs> kind of try to get better at grouping them up together. And I think I want to go back out to the swamp as well. Downpour. Greetings, noble sir. If you seek a present for a lady, you've come to the right place. What do you have? Pleasing trifles, lovely souvenirs, luxury items. I supply the upper classes. Beautiful ladies and noble gentlemen. Let's see them. How can I help? Mm, well, how's business? How's business? Not so good. King Foltus left the city with the entire court, and thus my clients. Moreover, under martial law, townsfolk would rather buy food and other necessities. <laughs> I see. Yeah. How can I help? I mean, why Why would they... I mean, they can't eat a fancy scarf. So... <laughs> and little... Whatever. Tell me about your goods. I sell clothing from far away Toussaint, and rings that adorn the gentle hands of aristocrats. What do you recommend? Looking for a present for a lady? I don't wish to be indiscreet, so I shan't inquire further. I only suggest that elegant courtesans gladly accept jewels when they would be insulted by gold. Maintaining appearances is part of their erotic game, if you understand me. I do. Aristocrats buy gloves, shawls, and kerchiefs for their nobly born ladies. Noble women wish to keep in fashion and are constantly changing apparel. Thanks for the advice. How can I help? Well, I'm gonna go shopping and see what you have. Okay, well, he has just a bunch of gifts for ladies, like rings and gems and things like that. Much, oh, much like he just said. Downpour. I know it's always raining here, isn't it? I like the hubbub of the marketplace. Uh -huh. Now, with business done, I'll drink of the new Naracot. Well, let's talk to the fishmonger. <laughs> Greetings, perch, flounder, or perhaps a tasty pike. Got any shark? Eh, not quite. But I'm a fish connoisseur. I know, smoked eel. You'd like that? Please, have a look. Gladly. I love the smell of fish. <laughs> so random. <laughs> Some market stalls stand empty. Yes, many vendors went bankrupt when taxes were increased to support the army. Non-humans moved to the ghetto and other merchants fear bandits and monsters. Hmm. Yeah, not much competition at all. Not much competition for you. Not that anyone could compete with my goods. I've even invested more in the business as I expect better times ahead. Good luck. I love the smell of fish. Thank you for sharing. Let's look at his goods now. Well, he has two types of fish, and that's it. <laughs> it's so, okay. Your hair is like milk. How come? It just is. Uh, let's save and see if... Where does this go? Terrible weather. Um, it doesn't say. It's probably locked. Yeah, locked. All right, let's talk to the butcher. Greetings, stranger. Oh, be not afraid of Ada. She growls, but she doesn't bite, usually. <laughs> the dog's name is Ada? She is a bitch. Plus, she's pampered and spoiled. The name of the king's daughter suits her perfectly. Do you know Princess Ada? Oh, my wife is a laundress at the palace, so I'm aware of the gossip in court. I'd be happy to listen, if I could look at your goods. Mm, certainly. I have the finest quality meat. I slaughter the animals myself. We'll see. Mm. Okay, well, let's get some gossip. Um, what does your wife say? What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she said. Foltest, Velorad, Duet... Jacques de Oldersburg, Marigold, who are you interested in? Oh, Marigold, that's Triss. So, uh, well, let's start with Foltus. He's the king, right? Tell me about Foltest. Well, need I tell you all I know? He slept with his own sister and begat Ada. Ill tidings indeed. A curse turned the girl into a striga. 
A witcher dispelled the curse from the princess, and Foltest was so overjoyed, he spoiled the girl rotten. The little Striga became a childish whore. Uh, okay. Interesting. Thanks. Hmm? Okay, let's get to the what list What does your again. wife say? <laughs> What's the word on Velorad? Yeah, he's the Burgermeister. I love that word. <laughs> What's the word on Velorad? Our Burgermaster drinks too much and can no longer manage the city's affairs. No wonder, since to curry favor in the court, it is to be a marionette and jump when the king pipes a tune. <laughs> Look around. Bandits, monsters, and city hall is silent. Velorad should step down. Okay. Interesting. Hmm? What does you... <laughs> Okay, let's ask about Roderick DeWet. Who is that? What have you heard about Roderick DeWet? Ah, the Nilfgaardian. He sticks to Ada like a burr on a dog's tail, but that threshold's high, even for a count. Moreover, he's a knight of the order, so as someone sworn to celibacy, he can only plow the princess in secret. Duet represents the Order in court, but I'd say he represents the Empire of Nilfgaard and the Imperial ambitions of the Black Ones. Okay. <laughs> hmm? What does... <laughs> All right, well, let's ask about Jacques de Aldersberg. What about Jacques de Aldersberg? Jacques. Grand Master. Sounds grandiose, doesn't it? Rarely does anyone recall that the Order of the Flaming Rose was once the Order of the White Rose. Now the once proud knights are racists and intriguers, acting under the guise of the highest ideals. Tis the Grand Master's doing. Before his knighthood, Jacques was a vagrant blinded by hatred of elves. One doesn't change so easily. Interesting. Hmm? What does your... <laughs> Uh, let's ask about Triss. Any gossip about Triss Marigold? Certainly. The women at the palace laundry love to gossip about other women. Of course they do. Well, they have the same opinion as any with common sense. A sorcerer's place is in the tower, brewing potions and devising horoscopes from stars rather than meddling in politics. Furthermore, she's shameless to display her ass in such provocative attire. Well, if Ada didn't already hold title as Queen of the Whores, Marigold would have it in a trice. Uh, wow. Interesting. He's got some, mm. um... What does your wife say? Strong opinion on, on, <laughs> on them. Uh, let's... I think that's it, right? I'm not sure I'm interested in gossip. Mm? Okay, um... Before I ask if he recognizes me, let's see if he is afraid of bad-mouthing authorities. Don't you fear bad-mouthing authorities during martial law? At worst, they'll throw me in the dungeon. I believe we must speak true even of the ruling class. This is our right. Bold words. Indeed. I have no intention to fear a dictatorship based on the exploitation of common men. I will not cower under the grim repression of oligarchs and aristocrats who have enthroned a wrongdoer, a man whose hands are stained with blood. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, it might just piss this guy off, but it can't be that bad. You exaggerate. Foltest's rule can't be that unpleasant. Ah, plague upon Foltest. I spit on monarchy, which long has been corrupt. Strange views. The people should rule. Common people like you and me. Hmm. Well, yeah, I don't think Carol isn't common, and I don't think he's interested in ruling. So we'll go with this one. I get, I feel like it might make him mad, but I feel like I kind of need to do what I think I need to do, right? I'm not common, and I'm uninterested in ruling. You poor man. You've been indoctrinated by officials and by agitators who, for a few pieces of silver, whisper royalist propaganda in the ears of the masses. Open your eyes. Enough of that already. Mm. Yeah, you're a little, you're a little excitable. <laughs> so, okay, now that I've gotten everything I need out of him for the other questions, let's ask if he recognizes me and see where that goes. Do you recognize me? Anything about me? Sure, the laundresses gossip about you. And? They say you chase anything in a skirt, but you're a real dog for sorceresses. Supposedly, you loved one once. 
<laughs> they say you're as likely to whip out your sword as you are to whip out your um, <laughs> um, yeah. a master at both arts. <laughs> women fear your fickleness, but you fascinate them. Hey, women. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hmm. Thanks. Hmm. Um, all right, well, I'm going to look at his uh, shop and then we'll move on. Well, that was some interesting gossip. I, I'm not sure how I feel about all of it, but uh, <laughs> that was interesting. How far up am I going? I guess I can go all the way up and around. There's a real down. Can I go up here? Mates should no. fight monsters. Witches are crude. Town Hall, Merchant's Gate. So the Maribor Gate, isn't that where I came in the first time, like when I was arrested? And then, because like the outskirts were like, this is this where my mouse is right now. This is where the, the mill was, right? Like that's, I think that's where I'm placing everything accurately. Oh, there's the swamp. Okay. Okay. Um, it's so hard to see because it's so rainy. Let's see if they have anything new to say. A monster annihilated a pharmacist and his apprentice at the Merchant's Gate. They've rushed us out without thought of our pay. Okay, nothing. I feel like Godspeed. they all... They're not the same person, but they would say the same things, it seems ah, like. Serving a crown. What? Hmm. Oh, let's go to... some more barricades. Well... Before I start yeah, heading awesome. in east, let's go back and do the right half of this Why wall. I love it when it rains. What are you talking about? Town hall door. Hmm. Well, let's come Damn, back in, in a second. Everything's getting wet. Yeah, that's what happens when it rains, man. Oh, it's dangerous. I stay clear of the garden. It's gonna be so muddy. Okay, this is the marketplace. <laughs> Booze vendor, Zirkadian vendor, blacksmith. Well, let's talk to this textile vendor. I left the laundry the drying. Of, uh, okay, nothing new. Everything's um, getting wet. Want it down? I do really like the houses in the mar in the trade district. They're really, I don't know. I just like them a lot. Obviously, more than like the other one because they were kind of slums. But I don't know. It's just it looks and pretty. Well, I'm going to go into this house and see what's in here. All right, nothing of interest in that house. But let's make our way back down here still and finish this side, and then we'll go the back maybe to the way. town hall and talk to people. All right. Um, can't seem to get into any of those houses. And on the other Real side of this downpour. group of houses looks to be the... Are you what is it called? The marketplace? Yeah, because it's got all these vendors. So let me head back up. Oh, there's a Vivaldi and Sons bank. Warehouse adjacent to the bank. Interesting. Hmm. Raining cats and dogs. I have noticed that uh, a lot of the... Uh, just the regular, not the fully interactable NPCs, but some of them say they, they keep being shocked that Vivaldi basically went bankrupt. <laughs> so I wonder how that really impacted a lot of the economy the here. All right, let's head up here mm, cats and, dogs. and we're going to go into the town hall. So let's save in case I really shouldn't head into the town hall just now <laughs> and see what happens. Hmm. Bank door. That cute clock winked at me. See that? No. I hope I have enough for the bribe. You guys playing dice? That's cool. Velorad's an honest man. So many hours waiting. So many hours waiting. All right, you guys don't have anything interesting to say. Townsman, no one's according to plan. Yes? I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? Uh-uh. No, not yet. Not yet. Don't bother me. I'm working. Next. Hmm, that must be for cockatrice contract for the scribe. Okay, so the bank door. Well, let's try going upstairs first. 
Oh, my back. At least I'm not a seamstress. I mean, I guess. At least I'm not, a, least seamstress. I'm not a seamstress. Okay. Fold, glue, oh, stamp. All day, all week. Where does this door go? Fold, glue, stamp. All day, all week. Hmm. At least I'm not a seamstress. Can we get to the... The Baldi and Sense Bank. Well, let's save. <laughs> let's just save. And see if I can get to the bank from here. Doesn't look like it. Locked. Okay. That's fine. Such bureaucracy proves our monarch has ceded power to interest groups. Okay, let's not be too paranoid. All right. Um, let's head into the marketplace. So I just I really like the architecture. It's sort of dorking out over right now, but I like it. Damn it. John Natalis Square. So the bank was right here. The Vivaldi Bank. Okay, what does it say? Like any large city, Vizima has a branch of the dwarf-owned Vivaldi Bank. It is located in a sturdy building with thick stone walls. Guards armed to the teeth watch the armored safes with while wealthy clients can count on discreet professional service. The bank is renowned and so its reputation did not suffer when rumors began circulating of a hostile takeover. Apparently the bank's owner was having financial problems and an anonymous investor took advantage. Oh, so the bank didn't go under, it was just kind of bought out. They told maybe. me to watch for those with a salamander badge. Maybe? Let's <sighs> dares to vault. Let's talk to the banker first. Or not. Hmm. I get to the vault? Unforgivable. Huh. Guess not. What? Okay. That what was do you want? Nothing. I want nothing. Calm down. Okay, so that's the bank. Let's head to the... Now this is the wall. All right, so we need to go in. Oh, look, it's one of the reliefs. I needed to... Okay, I found it, finally. So, the source, I had to place the three magical sensors. And here's one of them. It's And I remember there's one by the sewer, where we first came into Vizima, um, like, ages ago. <laughs> and then there was one I saw in the graveyard. So, let's pop one in there. Two more sensors to go. Yeah? Okay, that's, that's easy enough. A warehouse door. Well, let's see if this is unlocked. And it's not. It's locked. <laughs> and anything in these barrels of interest? No. Let's pick this flower. Look, a bathroom or an outhouse. I haven't seen one of those at all in the game, I don't think, yes. Or maybe I've run right past them and just ignored them. So, what is this area right here? The booze vendor? What is this, like, salt? Or something? Oh, there's the barrel. Cow's milk. And there. Okay. Oh, oh greetings. Greetings. Real Hello. downpour. If you're drawn to the secret arts, especially alchemy, you're certain to want my wares. Do you make potions? No, I'm a mere merchant. Hmm. Well, let me see what you have. Oh wow, he has lots of stuff. So, I've already read the Book of Minerals. And then the Great Book of Minerals for 600 gold! Oh my gosh! Salt. Well, I'll come back. I don't want to buy anything just yet. Wholesaler? I don't deal in retail. Um, then we've got the Zeracanian Zer Trader. Exotic goods from Zeracania, fragrant with roots. You don't look Zeracanian. Do royals sell royal strong ale? Um... Okay, how is it- how is a Zeracanian supposed to look? That's what I want to know. Well, let's look at his stuff. 
All right, well, he has another book that I need to buy. So between the two of them, 1,200 more gold I need to find or come up with. Nothing breeds happiness like a good transaction. Does Roderick Duet truly hail from Nilfgaard? Apparently he does. A real downpour. So that's it. I thought there was... Alchemist, alchemist, blacksmith. Oh, I have to go around. So, okay. Well, let's try getting into this door. Oh, where are we at? Are we back in the inn? No, we're not. We're somewhere else. Huh? Gambler, bouncer. Let's talk to him. What? Um, yeah, let's ask about where we are. Nothing. What place is this? Gambling hall. Enjoy yourself. Drink and eat. No whores. Oh. Who's worth talking to? If you want to play dice, see Costa. Liquor from the waitress. Hmm. I bet you this is where I need to continue on with this game of dice quest thing. Gambler, gambler, gambler. <laughs> Those swords just for show? Uh, totally. Another new face? Regulars must be recommending the place. This business grows more dangerous. I don't plan on rotting in prison. Prison's not bad. You a criminal? This hall exists for decent folk. I fear military lore. Perhaps the penalty for what I'm doing is death. Bribes won't get you by. The soldiers grow more greedy and audacious. Something's afoot. I hope to be away before it occurs. Mm. How can I help? Is this your place? I merely run it. The shareholders wish to remain anonymous. Hmm. Who are they? I epitomize discretion. As do I. Ask such questions and you'll anger a huge organization. Salamandra? Get out now! Uh, oops. Let's talk to her again. No, or I'll call the boys. I don't want to leave. Way to go, Geralt. All right, well, uh, I think this is where I'm going to end things for today. Tomorrow we'll try to, or not tomorrow, <laughs> what is it, next Tuesday, we'll try to talk to Coster and continue exploring the trade quarter and then maybe head back out to the swamp. I'm not sure how long that will take, but we'll see how it all goes. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Witcher video.